module in this massive open online course. So we are looking at various convex optimization problems such as the least squares and least norm. Uh, to, round, uh, to round up this discussion, uh, let us look at another problem which is essentially a combination of both these problems that is the least squares and the least norm problem which is termed as regularization. Okay. Uh, so we want to look at an interesting or you can also think of this as a generalization of the least squares and the least norm framework this is termed as regular regularization okay and as i already said what regularization does is that it combines the least squares and least norm it combines the ls that is your least squares plus the least norm frameworks okay so this is your ln and uh, what it essentially does is as follows remember we said uh, you we use the least squares framework when we have a linear model or an overdetermined linear model and therefore now consider this linear model a x bar equals y bar this can be over determined or under determined I will come to this in a moment. So, this is a x bar equals y bar this is your linear model and this vector x bar this is an unknown vector okay, similar to what we had previously. Uh, this vector y bar this is your observation matrix and the vector and the matrix A is assumed to be known okay that is the matrix that is pertaining to your model or your linear model okay so this is your observation vector similar to the channel estimation problem you can think of this as the pilot vector that is the output vector that is a vector of observation sa observed samples of the received samples at the receiver in the wireless system okay so now you have your linear model in addition we also desire so we want to minimize so we want to minimize the model error or minimize so it is desirable to minimize the approximation error Uh, at the same time we would also like to minimize plus we would also like to minimize norm of x bar or basically uh, we would also like to minimize the energy that is uh, minimize the energy. this can be thought of in various ways that is uh, basically to guarantee an energy efficient solution or it is known that vectors which have lower energy have a higher probability. So, you are trying to maximize uh, so considering the prior probability of such vectors arising in the problem. So, you are also trying to take factor in uh, take into account that factor all right. So, this can be thought of as basically uh, that you can basically think of this as either maximizing the efficiency of the solution or you can also think of this as the fact that uh, you are trying to maximize the probability of x bar since in natural systems vectors x bar which have lower energy have a higher probability. So, you have typically that is the scenario. Uh, so, we would like to maximize the probability of x bar or you can also think of this as not probability, but rather the likelihood of x bar I think that is a better word maximize the likelihood. And therefore, we would want to have a trade off between the accuracy of the linear model and uh, this probability slash energy efficiency. Okay. 
So, you would like to, so in summary what we would like to do is we would like to, it is not an either or, we would like to do both. There is trade off accuracy of linear model for energy efficiency let us say. implies we want to have an objective function which reflects both correct we want to have an objective function or an optimization we want to have an objective of optimization that achieves both that achieves both the above objectives and Therefore, one can formulate the following optimization problem that is minimize, remember previously to, to basically uh, obtain the solution x bar which best explains y bar or basically which minimizes the approximation error you have minimized the norm of a x bar minus y bar whole square that is the least squares problem this minimizes the model error. Now, to maximize the uh, to get an energy efficient solution we would like to minimize the norm of x bar this minimize the norm of x bar square what we do now is we combine both of these all right so this basically is the approximation error and this is the energy of the solution and now you are minimizing a linear combination of this. So, this is a weighting factor. Now, lambda here is not the Lagrange multiplier, this is a weighting factor or this can be a weight and therefore, you have a weighted objective. So, you have a weighted combination of these two objectives, one is the approximation error, one is the energy and you are minimizing a weighted combination that is you are taking the approximation error weighing it by this energy. Right. This process is known as regularization. So, you are not just minimizing the approximation error, but you are regularizing this objective function by the addition of the energy by the addition of a component that is proportional to the energy of the solution. So, this process, so this basically encourages solutions that have lower energy. So, this constraints, this process is termed as regularization and this uh, so, this process is termed as uh, and this factor lambda, this lambda is termed as the regularization parameter. this factor lambda is termed as regularization parameter and uh, all right. So, this is termed as, so it be basically in a scenario where we would like to uh, achieve both all right achieve a trade off between the accuracy and as well as an energy efficient solution one can employ this approach and the process the procedure to solve this is similar to that uh, is similar to what we have seen before that is I expand this objective function and it is rather once you understood the previous paradigms, this one is going to be rather simple. So, the solution is found as follows, solution to the optimization problem above. You can also think as this as the regularized least squares, okay. the solution to the regularized LS can be found as follows. Well, we have the objective function f of x bar, this is norm a x bar minus y bar whole square plus lambda times norm x bar whole square. 
which I can write as an obscure of a vector is vector transpose times itself that is for a real vector minus y bar transpose x bar minus y bar plus lambda x bar transpose x bar uh, which is equal to you can write this again as again similar to what we have seen so many times before x bar transpose a transpose minus y bar transpose x bar minus y bar plus lambda x bar transpose x bar. This is equal to well I can write this as x bar transpose a transpose a x bar plus uh, we know that y transpose y bar transpose a x bar and x bar transpose a transpose y bar these were equal to each other because these are scalar quantities one one is the transpose of the other. So, I can simply going to write this as minus 2 x bar transpose a transpose y bar plus y bar transpose y bar plus the regularization factor lambda x bar transpose x bar and this is your f okay f of x bar. Now, if you take the gradient of this with respect to x bar what that gives us is well twice a transpose a is symmetric. So, this is twice x bar transpose p x bar the derivative is twice p x bar. So, this is twice a transpose a x bar minus twice x bar transpose c bar derivative is c bar derivative with respect to or gradient with respect to that. So, this will be minus twice a transpose y bar plus derivative of y bar and this does not depend on x. So, it is derivative with respect to x bar is 0 plus now this you can write as lambda x bar transpose identity matrix into x bar. So, this will be derivative will be lambda twice identity matrix into x bar. And now we set this equal to 0 to find the optimum. So, this implies now the factors of 2 will cancel and further you can write this as a bar a transpose a plus identity matrix or in fact lambda times identity matrix into x bar equals a transpose y bar and this implies that if you look at this solution this will be a transpose a or this will be x hat you can call this as x hat equals a transpose a plus lambda times i inverse Okay. And therefore, this is basically the solution to the your regularized least squares that achieves a trade off between. So, it solution to your regularized LS regularized least square and combines both the criteria, combines both your least squares as you can see, they combine the properties of both the least squares and the least norm. Okay. L s plus L n least squares plus least norm uh, is the solution of the weighted optimization problem. Uh, now, a brief note regarding this lambda, this is the regularization parameter. Now, this needs to be chosen appropriately. Now, remember the solution is easy, but we have not spoken of or we have not talked about how to choose this. So, this lambda, which is uh, the regularization parameter this has to be chosen appropriate or this lambda requires tuning what is known as tuning. Uh, in the sense that one has to play around with this a little bit to get the best solution all right. So, you have to sort of adaptively you might need to adaptively change this to get the best to get the obtain the best solution. So, this can be chosen either heuristically
or this can be adaptively chosen, adapted. adapted to changing environment and typically one needs to have a slight intuition about the system that is, is based on prior experience that is uh, uh, this lambda can be determined over time based on observing the system or based on observing the model for several time instances and then uh, eventually determining what is the lambda, what is the value of lambda that best suits or what is the value of the regularization parameter that gives the best solution, all right. So, that is the tuning process, okay. So, this requires basically tuning or uh, either choose it heuristically or uh, tune it appropriately, all right, by adapting it to the changing, uh, by adapting it to a changing environment and it requires some intuition into the requires. some intuition or prior knowledge you could put it that way or prior experience with the operation of the system. So, as to determine the lambda that is a regularization parameter that yields the best solution, all right. So, that basically completes our discussion on the regularized least squares, all right, which combines both the uh, least squares and the least norm flavors of this problem. Thank you very much.